Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Okay, good. Now, first and foremost, I would sincerely request you all to have your videos on. It will be a waste of time. For the next few minutes, we'll engage in a dialogue, not a monologue. And we cannot have those dialogues if I can see you and see your faces. Okay. In time to come. And all the faces that you're seeing around you, these are some of the most beautiful people. And hopefully we'll be working immensely and very hard for the growth of this country. So please be friends with them. And we'll collaborate a lot with each other in the journey. Before I begin, is there anyone who, who is now shifting a batch from recording to the live cohort? Raise your virtual hands if that's the case. Wait for a few more seconds. Rahul? What's your story? Why the um, change? Yeah. Hi, Raman. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's a pleasure to see you live. Um, so I started the recording uh, batch like uh, almost like 15, 20 days before. And uh, um, I mean, I was really earning to, you know, get uh, on the live batch and hopefully I saw your YouTube post. Um, so one thing good happened that I continue using YouTube even after you suggested not to use. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and I'm really looking forward to collaborate uh, on the live sessions. Um, and yeah, looking forward for that as well. Okay, and just to check with you, how has the experience been so far? It's been 15 days, right? Oh, uh, yes. So I was a bit sick uh, when the bad started, so I couldn't mm -hmm. uh, join the pace. So I, I uh, like from 1st of October, I'm uh, diligently doing the recordings. And it's it's been perfect. Like uh, even like not a single second, I've thought that uh, I'm not uh, catching the pace or um, like I I am I'm perfectly from the science background, and like I studied history last was like in standard ten, but it mm -hmm. was a perfect uh, you know uh, start to the UPSC prep. I'll say that. Okay. Many observations. Anything that you are doing well. Anything that you're absolutely loving about the journey. The the first and the foremost thing, um, like uh, you know, trying to make conjectures. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I've been concentrating most, uh, and doing the post read vigilant, uh, like as much as I can. Good. Uh, I'm a working professional as well, so uh, um, just trying to you know uh, uh, catch up with the pace as much as possible. Okay, so I think we have a networking networking of nights scheduled, um, in some time. Archita, when, when is that scheduled? Uh, so at 7 p.m. IST. Okay. So do join that. To all the newcomers, don't worry. We'll have our own networking night next month. You don't have to attend today's one because you will feel out of place. You will not get many of the jokes. So please um, don't feel that FOMO. Uh, and we will be engaging in those networking events once a month. But for that, you will have to um, engage with the with the classes going forward. Now, is there anyone who is already in services? You know, railways or state services, or paramilitary or armed forces. Okay, I think we have quite a few in the in the other batch. So I thought of checking in. So one thing is. Uh, a little update ab ab around the class schedule. So our classes will be from Monday to Thursday. However, this week is little special. We will have no class tomorrow. Today and tomorrow, we will be working very hard to provide you all the access to the recordings. Please be patient. You will all receive some login credentials, change your password, and I'll tell you how to go about using those recordings. But I also said this week is special. On Wednesday, we will be joined by my dear friend who is a graduate from Harvard and Oxford and is also a member of Legislative Assembly in Haryana. I think today he's one of the youngest MLAs in India. 
we'll do an interactive session with him. I think it will be much more interesting to learn how public administration works at the state level by interacting with someone who is part of that legislature. So all of you will be invited, of course. On Friday, we will be joined by Ambassador Anil Trigunyath as he talks about his views around many issues and conceptual theories behind whatever is happening in the world. I think um, uh, he writes extensively for Indian Express, Hindu, and has been part of, uh, of leadership teams across uh, the regions. I think he had positions in Libya, Lebanon, US, so on and so forth. So his views are very interesting. And um, he will, of course, join all of us on Friday. So we'll have an extra class on Friday. No class tomorrow. So chill. Now, I hope all of you have joined the alumni group. Is there anyone who has not joined the alumni group? What's your point to make? So I think we will be able to uh, give access to them after the orientation session. Uh, I don't think many of them have joined the Got alumni it. group now. So do they have the link? Uh, yes. All right. So please click on that link, send in your request, and Archita will approve your requests. Make sure that you're using the same name with which you have registered for these classes. And um, there are many benefits of alumni group. And you will realize these benefits in time to come. Not just this year or next year, but throughout your life. Some of the remarkable people are part of that community. And of course, they will be collaborating with you in future as in we proceed in the journey. Even those who appeared for mains this year, we created those um, answer writing groups. And many of those youngsters benefited immensely from those groups and settings. Joining the alumni group, we will not be sending emails from here on. All the updates will be on the, on the alumni group, okay? You will all have access to recordings by tomorrow or at least this week. We'll try to see if we can do this by today. These recordings will be provided until 2028. You will not be charged a single penny for any sort of subscription. In fact, we want you to revise, re-revise lectures because those are remarkable recordings. Now, how many of you will be writing the exam in 2024? We don't have much time left. Not a single person. So raise your virtual hand so that I can count those numbers. So Mr. Ipad, you will have to have your video on and also change your name as in when you attend the live classes. Otherwise, uh, there's a high likelihood Archita might remove you. Not my fault. Now, uh, one, two, three, ten. Okay. Eleven. I'll wait for a few more seconds to get the sense of the room. Okay. And my understanding is your preparation as of now for 2024 is in terrible state. That's my assumption, you know, for whatever reasons. But uh, even though you have started or more, would have attended a few classes, but still you lack in fundamentals. That is the assumption that we'll go in with. And I should assure you, uh, if you were to follow through on these steps and stages, you should be in a good position to clear the examination in 2024 itself. And I'll tell you the reasons why. Now, all of you unraise your hands. How many of you will write the examination in 2025? Okay, good. I think uh, equal amount of people. So those who are writing the examination in 2024, my request would be that you will have to dedicate at least six to 10 hours on a daily basis. Working hard should not be an issue. Working smart should be an issue because many people don't work smart. 
Now let us begin with the session. Let me ask you one question, all of you, and raise your hands. Now, who will tell me why are we here? What's the point? Except my friend who has been part of the recording group. Anyone? Saurabh? Any thoughts? Why are we here? Discussing about uh, UPS. There are so many discussions already across YouTube. Endless discussions around UPSC. How will you benefit with these discussions? Um, this was not profitable. profitable. So, um, No worries. Look. It's totally fine. I know it's a difficult question. Arnab, your thoughts? To have an edge over others while preparing. To have an edge. What do you mean by that edge? Means to be in the top 100, to be in the best ranks so that we can get our desired service. Okay. So Arnab used a very interesting word that we have to get our desired service. And that is the goal with which many of you will prepare for. But getting is a wrong word. No one is going to give you things. We have to snatch the things that we really care for. And of course, we are here for one reason, one reason alone. And that is to snatch our desired services. Snatch a good rank in the UPSC examination. Snatching is a very important word. Not getting. No one is going to give you anything. And why should they? Government does not care about you. Do they care about you? Politicians. They care about winning next elections. Of course, there are exceptions, but government do not, they don't care about you. Look at any government in the world, Israel, Palestine, US, Sweden, their compulsions that they have to follow through on, but they don't care about you. They will not care how much hard work you will put in for this preparation or how many books you have completed. The person who will be checking your mains paper, they do not care. What are, what are your trials and tribulations in life? You will work so hard to crack prelims and mains, or pay for the interview. But in many cases, that interview in UPSC Bhavan will not last for more than 20 minutes. Because the person sitting in the UPSC Bhavan, they have a million other things to do. And therefore, they don't care about you. This examination could be life for you, but this examination is just a monthly paycheck for them. That's the hard fact that you should know. It can be a dream for your parents, for you, for your siblings. Not for them. It's a monthly paycheck. You may find this funny, but the next few months and possibly a year, this exam and every facet of this examination will dictate your life. And it is my duty to tell you that for some, it can perhaps destroy lives. Failing in this examination multiple times can destroy your 20s, such an important phase of your life. And at the same time, of course, if you can crack this examination at a young age, the kind of opportunities that you will be bestowed with, that's unfathomable running a district, deciding India's foreign policy, managing commerce, finance, the kind of contributions that you can, ma you can make, no match elsewhere in any part of the world. And therefore, for this examination, you don't have to get marks in every paper. You have to snatch 
marks in every paper. Only when you are snatching marks in every paper, in every MCQ, that is how you will snatch a good rank. And this is the exact reason why we are here. To goddamn top this examination. People who are not part of Misfits, they are preparing to get a good rank. But here at Misfits, for every day, anything that we do, everything that we do, will be working towards snatching a good rank. Snatch, not get. And to snatch a good rank, you need a good strategy to begin with. But before that, you need to change your mindset. Because that mindset shift, mindset shift is the difference between an officer and an aspirant. If even for an iota of second, you think that you are not up for it, that you don't want to work hard, you're here to just give it a try. There are so many who do this. You want to just try it out. Then you are definitely in the wrong room. No doubt about that. If you're just here to try, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your parents' time. Your road to Labasna is difficult and has to be difficult. And that is why it's a dream for many. But if you're here to genuinely work hard, make a meaningful contribution to this beautiful country that you're so lucky to be part of, then you are in the right room. And let's prepare for that examination to work for this beautiful India and to create a, an India of our dreams. It is extremely important that right people occupy important positions in India. Think about this. So many perils, so many evils could be solved if right people are occupying important positions, if they have the right incentives to occupy those positions. And I want each one of you to be those role models. Those role models for your sisters, for your brothers, your siblings, your village, your community. I am definitely going to be working a thousand times harder than you will. And you will realize the meaning of the sentence when you go through the recordings. I think the person in the beginning spoke about this. My success, my idea of India, it entirely entirely depends upon your success. If you succeed, I will succeed. And that is how misfits will grow. That is how our beautiful community will grow and thrive. If I can't get you into the IFS or IPS or IAS, I'm failing. And I can't let that happen. I don't like failing. Now the question is, how to snatch a good rank? We understand that we have to snatch a good rank, not just merely get a good rank. But now how can we snatch a good rank? You all should have views around this. You have decided to put in so much effort. At, at your age, you may think that the most investing is all about money. That's not true. Investing is also about time and emotions. That's the truest definition of investments. We're putting in so much time and emotions into this preparation. Any thoughts? How can we snatch a good rank? Trapti has a response. Uh, so through a right strategy, which is like well implemented. But problem with strategy is there are millions of strategies and you will keep on changing your strategy after every three months. After every new YouTube video is in, in town. Before prelims, you will change your strategy. Means strategy changed again. Good, good. Try, but that's Samya. Sir, it's like being consistent uh, every day. Uh, every day counts here. So being consistent towards the plan we make. Okay, good. Strategy is good. Consistency is important. Mohit. 
sir by doing that thing which others are not going to do hmm i think that's not always uh, the case but good so of course there are millions of strategies most of you will follow through on those strategies and every 3 4 months you yourself will see that you will end up changing those strategies why because that's a human tendency as human beings we absolutely love distractions we love distractions in life if you think about it you will realize that all the billion dollar companies that you see today they are built around distractions and those emotions name any linkedin again pride people are sharing all the good stuff there instagram nv deadly sin all are based on all the deadly sins tinder lust zomato gluttony the list is endless that's the you know, in fact a friend of mine a very good investor in boston that was his investing thesis that's how you should invest money so distractions are built into your mental models you will keep on debating with yourself what books to read getting anxious about innumerable whatsapp groups whatsapp channels these days getting getting anxious about what your peers are doing and what are they not doing focusing more on them not on us in some time you will also realize there is something called plan a plan b plan c plan d all of those things will worry you and take it from me that will be immense destruction for you and that is not your fault this happens because we as human civilization are living in a very unique age in human history can you tell me what's so unique about this age today sakshi rahul should have the answers has gone through this what goes on sakshi sir i think uh, uh, these days are like our mind go around distractions and uh, uh, yeah talking about the civilizations i think a lot of things are there uh, maybe technological uh, advancements and uh, as the technologies are growing up and this is also um, making an impact on the how our minds are working like we are not able to focus on a single thing for a very long period of time so these things are there yeah interesting cephical yes sir so uh, these day we all want to make our digital presence in the internet yeah and with this uh, presence on the internet one very unique thing happens we are flooded we are inundated with a lot of information is that a good thing bad thing debatable but i tend to think that it's a terrible thing for your competitors not for you your competitors will be confused and let them be let them be overconfident and ignorant in some cases they will have a lot of access to a lot of information a lot of study materials various kinds of books but take it from me a lot of that information is useless information and as misfitters you should understand this in misfits we have to limit our sources stick to those sources and we'll do that in your misfits journey there are four things that will be your strength of course i cannot promise you indian foreign services no one can no one should but i can surely promise you a name in the list as long as you're willing to work on these promises so it is in this context i want you to make three promises promise one from here on delete all the nonsense ridiculous social media apps from your phone for a year it will be hard for 21 days i know this in the us there are therapy sessions for this these days 
digital addiction. It's like a new kind of disease. Delete all the nonsense, social media apps. They're ridiculous apps. In few months, you will start realizing the value of this statement. I know most of you, like Rahul mentioned, got to know about me via YouTube. I would also urge you to get rid of YouTube. Instagram, Twitter, deadly sense. Many will say, look at YouTube, it has good content also. I agree, but that is again debatable. I will do all the research for you. I will show you all the videos that you need to see to crack this examination. To crack this examination, you don't have to believe in conspiracy theories about Gandhi ji or Nathuram Godse. You're here to prepare for an examination that and that examination and the currency notes of that country have his name, his face, whether you like it or not. So goal should be to crack the examination at this stage. We can be change makers thereafter. I'll do all the research for you that is needed to crack this examination. And you can watch these YouTube videos once you are completed all the Misfits episodes. If you get the time. But for now, in the next few months, no YouTube, no Instagram, nothing. Number two, as someone rightly mentioned, trust the process and stay consistent. And what do I mean by consistency? What is consistency? Who will tell me? Sakshi? So I think repeating the same routine again and again, if in, even if you, if you're uh, like even if you don't want to do it because it is important to crack this exam and to prepare well for the exam yeah it is very important to do things consistently even though those things could be boring in some cases in the misfits journey um, one thing that you will have to do from here on would be once you get the access to recordings write it down that Watch one video per day from history series plus watch one video per day from economic series. And plus attend one live classes, one, one live class from Monday to Thursday. When you're watching economics episodes, you will also realize the importance of reading newspapers. You know, for one week, things will be a little easy, a little difficult. Don't worry. If you're staying consistent, then you will realize how newspaper also becomes interesting. In this journey, you can pick any newspaper, could be Hindu, could be Indian Express, no biases, anything works, but pick one at least. You don't have to give more than 45 minutes per day to read the newspaper. You will learn all the hacks and strategies on how to go about reading that newspaper. Archita, what's that uh, episode where we talk about newspaper reading? Or I think it's episode that cross verify once. Uh, so it's about it's part of the Iraq crisis. So just give me a second. Okay, take your time, and uh, I think we can also send this in the email to everyone the timelines as well. By the way, Archita is your uh will be your support system. Okay. Whatever emails that you send to us uh, are vetted by Archita. So please be good friends with her. So watch one video per day from history, watch one video per day from economics, and number three, attend live classes. And of course, you're going through newspaper readings also. You may think I just have seven months or eight months left for 2024 prelims. How will this work out? Trust me, you will crack the examination. In the episodes of economics, you will see yourself that we have completed all the questions that could be asked or have been asked from UPSC mains or prelims. And you will yourself will start solving those questions. Now comes the interesting part. When you're watching those recordings, you will not be doing things passively. What you will do is whatever videos that you will watch, you will create a subject line 
with your name you know and you will send us an email about your learnings in that email so for example if you have watched one episode of modern empire or whatever once you are done with that episode you know in the next few paragraphs you have to write down all the learnings any unique thing that you found was interesting or perhaps how you are thinking differently what are your opinions or conjectures and few of the answers or questions that i post but please make sure that there may just one subject email keep on repeating it will be like a mini notebook of revisions for you keep sending us emails day 1 progress day 2 progress day 3 progress day 4 progress okay just have one email trail day 1 you learned all these things day 2 you learned all these things day 3 day 4 day 5 so on so forth so promise one was removal of all social media apps promise two please stay consistent how do you ensure consistency watch episodes of history and economics plus live classes and in that consistent routine you will also be sending us your learnings there is a reason why we picked history and economics first can anyone tell me why it was a very conscious effort at our end I think my internet was patchy or is patchy. Just give me a second. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yanchu. Pritam. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Let's talk to Preetam. I'll come back to you, sir. Thank you. So, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, everything like uh, I personally think that we have to start from history and economics because the economics is for the standard of living, and the history is the situation where the people are living over there. So everything is evolved from there. So we have to just start from there. Like example, Islam is started in thousands. Like it started in Arab world. Like when you come to the caste system in India, Hinduism it started in six hundred Vedas. So the economic situation is driving actually over there. So it, the history is uh, like uh, the rules and regulations which are being made, as be, are being made according to the situation which is lying over there. Even right now it's happening. Like if you see the laws which are happening. So I think history and economics make the core part of the civil preparation, because from there only polity evolved, and geography is evolved. They have known that later on, later on stages. Yes, sir. This is my thought on that. Okay, good. Anushka, your thoughts? Uh, hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, everyone. Uh, my thoughts on this would be that uh, as a lot of people say that we learn uh, from our history, so uh, and economics is a daily thing. It includes a lot of history, and they a lot of things that happen as monthly or in economic. So we have to learn about that on a daily basis, and the history part of it, it just helps us um, to learn from our past, so that we do not repeat those mistakes in the future. So that will help us in our answers as well. Okay. So interesting. Devyanshu, after you. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Namun sir, and my fellow dear classmates. Sir, uh, from a couple of days onwards, I have uh, listened your uh, your YouTube uh, video on Israel and Palestine conflict. You have told about the historical, geographical, and economical aspect of that region, basically, and the diversionary war, uh, the reason behind that Israel and Palestinian conflict. So, yeah, uh, history will definitely give you the uh, clear picture about the what are the possible causes uh, that uh, today uh, we are facing it around the world. And around like uh, uh, India and Canada scenario, Israel, Palestine, and onwards. So yeah, I think history is really important in order to formulate the future policies. Also for our country as a IFS officers. Good, and also history is important for your prelims and mains. Don't forget that. 
see um uh, once you're going through these subjects you will realize that no subject is being covered in silos a lot of your peers will make a mistake of doing things in silos if they're studying history it's just history that is how you create subject matter experts and these subject matter experts are disgrace to humanity they make so many mistakes irrelevant predictions so it is high time that you do not become subject matter experts it's called as general studies general studies right so across history across economics across ethics we are always interlinking subjects that is how you will retain better remember better produce better analyze better and make better conjectures but history of course you're going to serve this beautiful country if you do not know the history of this country how it came into existence why it came into existence what are the values ethos of this country you will not be able to understand its geography or any aspect that it stands for or will stand for or the polity the sociology of this country the philosophy of this country so history becomes extremely relevant in economics we can't understate the importance how economies are linked directly to empires from mesopotamians to harappans to name any those were empires why because of their economic superpower and we're seeing this happening play out on daily basis economics lessons are also very much tied with the current affairs and those fundamental concepts will make your readings of current affairs very exciting and therefore economics and history in a way will cover a lot of your subjects and of course uh, this week we'll be starting with geography so things will get sorted you will be seeing a mix of so many things so promise one again no nonsense useless rid ridiculous apps promise to stay consistent now promise 3 is very important and that promise is the promise that you will make a lot of mistakes you should not be scared to make mistakes at least in misfits no one is going to penalize you for saying things wrong okay you don't have to succeed all the time you know no one will penalize you for writing bad answers or giving bad answers but you have to give those bad answers only then you will improve and only then you will succeed many of you will have this idea in mind that the other person has a background in xyz subject they will know a lot about xyz subject please get rid of those biases we'll cover things from foundations so please make mistakes we are here to prepare for civil services not judicial services no one is a judge no one should be a judge please make mistakes that is how you will grow that is how you will learn up until here any questions but before i take questions and add a few more things let me introduce an important personality joining in for the session today so shatakshi is also here and we are absolutely delighted to have her join us in this community shatakshi has worked with the senior leadership of mckinsey and bcg to of the most well renowned global consulting firms she herself has hired many consultants in her life she has worked very closely with the former british prime minister tony blair and as a part of her assignment has advised various foreign governments today she also invests in many early stage ventures in south asia and long long time ago she also had worked with government of india a lot of digital transformations that you're seeing today including e governance shatakshi was a project manager to drive those e governance reforms with darpg so let's welcome her and uh, you will meet shatakshi multiple times in your journey there is a separate section on ethics in upsc mains and also to crack this examination you need to be very good in structures even if you do not know the answer you need to have form structures and form opinions 
So there's a master class that Shatakshi took for all the misfitters. Recording will be made available to all of you that you have to watch after your preliminary examination on how to write answers. But let's welcome Shatakshi. Off to you. All right. Thanks, Naman, for that introduction and for introducing me to your larger new cohort of Misfits community. Hearing like that, it sounds as if I've done a lot of great things. I think I would just want to mellow down a lot of what Naman said. There were a lot of people who helped me in the journey and I helped them back to be able to make the needed impact in government and in private sector both. Very excited to see the new faces. And uh, needless to say, like Naman said, you will see me teaching and interacting with a lot of you in the ethics curriculum and uh, in the future masterclasses as well as part of the Misfits community. There are two thoughts that I would want to leave you all with as you all continue to interact with uh, Naman. Number one, the culture at Misfits is not that of rote learning. While of course the harsh reality on a lot of subjects will be that you gulp it and you regurgitate it on the exam. There will be certain section. So be it history or be it what I have taught in ethics, we would want you to immerse in it. So if you're watching my recordings and there is a case that I would have given at any point of time. Pause it. It's not Netflix show. Right? If you want to build a thinking brain, you would have to think at that point of time what kind of solution or what kind of approach do I need to take. All right? And then resume the recording. That is how you will build a thinking brain. Otherwise, you are just a passive viewer of that entire content. So that's point number one. Naman mentioned a very interesting point that we are not going to be judge. Very interestingly, when it comes to ethics, ethics, law, morality, they all are very closely overlapped and intermingled topics. You cannot become a good ethical leader if you are not ethical or question ethics on a day-to-day -day basis. So food for thought for all of you would be be it interacting with your family or how you deal with a beggar on the street or how you just treat others. When you watch the entire ethical conundrums, try to question yourself often in your life. Is this morally right? Is this lawfully right? Or is this ethically right? Different things. Once you start learning in the curriculum, you'll realize what are the difference. That is the basic foundation and the first lecture in the entire ethics series. That's the first thing that I would want you to nudge you all on. The second thing is, Naman mentioned a fantastic thing about snatching marks. I've taken many competitive exams such as GMAT and many others. Especially in the Indian context, UPSC becomes the most competitive exam. That's why you have do not have much choice, but not to get marks, but to snatch marks. For you to snatch marks, let me take a step back. It will become very hard for you to snatch marks if you're not clear why am I doing this. All right. So there could be multiple reasons. One of the reason could be that you and your family do not come from a good monetary status. And this is one of the windows through which you could bounce back in life financially. Fair enough. That's a very good, I think, motivation. You want to come out of that strata of the society. However, another reason could be that Shatakshi, I want to make an impact in the society. If you have never volunteered for any NGO, if you have never helped any person out of will, if you have never done any internship, how will I buy the fact that you want to make an impact in the society? Volunteers, right? Everybody like volunteers in non-profits. There is no bar. There is no degree check. So question your why. Very important in life. 
we teach that in global governance initiative also people who want to get into development consulting or management consulting if you do not get your why clearly in life it's very hard for you to be consistent one of you was talking about consistency right what is consistency doing the same goddamn thing for very long period of time this is what musk says if you are working 16 hours every day and your competitor is working 10 hours every day over a period of time you are not just 100 hours advanced than them you are 1000 hours advanced than them you are advanced than them in not just over a period of longer time in terms of 1000 but lakhs but then the question comes why are you doing it what is that why because of which you will put in 16 18 hours every goddamn day not very easy thing so you can do it for two days, you can do it for two weeks, you can do it for two months. Why would you do it for two years? All right. And that's not an answer that I can give to you. There are 45 of you, 44 of you, in fact, excluding Naman and me. Question that why. All of you should have ideally your own idiosyncratic why. Idiosyncratic is non-copy pasteable. So those are the two things that I wanted to not just say, but question. Civil services is a role of thinkers, right? If you do not think now, what is the guarantee you'll think later? All right. So yes, that's it. Naman, back to you. Okay. I think one thing I want to just confirm that uh, Shatakshi mentioned a very good example about Elon Musk, 16 hours versus 10 hours and how you go, are you proceeding the journey in life that makes a lot of sense okay however i don't want all of you to be stressed that for you PSC, you have to prepare for 16 hours it's an example there's no need to study for 16 hours a day of course you will have to do it when you close the examination cycle but otherwise you will be exhausting yourself eight to ten hours if you're appearing in 2024 and around four to six hours in if you're appearing in 2025 and thereafter, not more than that. Otherwise, you will be exhausted when the most important time comes in. Now, there are a few other things that I want to highlight here. Uh, but before I do that, let me address the question that Sharma S has. Go on. Good evening, Naman. Am I audible to you? Yes, you are. Um, shall I prefer e paper rather than hot paper newspaper sorry shall i prefer for e paper electronic paper rather than hot paper newspaper while reading i can't able to newspaper daily basis if i subscribe to e paper okay. i could read See, I, I requested you all to to read newspaper and that newspaper could be any format i don't care about the format it could be electronic, could be print, doesn't matter. These are the nitty gritties that should not bother you. Okay, so e-paper, physical paper, do that. But your goal here is not to collect papers or collect notes. We're not here to become collector of books. Some of us want to become collector of districts. So read the paper, throw it away. Don't keep it with your heart for it, for eternity. Learn concepts, focus on that. And do not worry about making notes at this stage from newspaper. Because many of you will make this mistake and have to make dedicated notes. No, don't worry about it at this stage. And I think Archita will share details about how to, you know, about that video clipping that you and perhaps watch before you start reading with your newspaper and things will be very clear to you as and when you go through the episodes of economics. Now, can anyone tell me what is conjecture? Because that is one skill set that we will be focusing extensively on during our time at Misfits. Ability to make conjectures. What is that? Kanchan? 
हेलो नमन सर एंड हेलो टू एवरी वन एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस यू आर सर कंजक्शर मीन्स मेकिंग कनेक्टिंग डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ऑल मेकिंग गेसेस गेसेस एवरी वन कैन मेक लॉजिकल वन विथ पास्ट नॉलेज एंड ऑल दैट मेकिंग लॉजिकल Uh, with uh, with the uh, in have logic different from those who have logic okay i think uh, with a past uh, information or knowledge we have so i think uh, the most important skill set in life that you need to thrive in this world is the ability to make decisions but very interesting thing about decisions is that you will never have the full information at your disposal that is never the case today warren buffett needs billions of dollars by investing in certain stocks do you think he has full information about those stocks no he may have better information versus other investors many management consultants they advise governments but when whenever they are advising those governments do they have full information no one has full information it is the power and ability to make conjectures and that's that power is the reason why shatakshi got paid crores of rupees during her time in consulting because that's a different and difficult skill to master whenever you are preparing for preliminary examination and once you're done with that examination you will see so many institutes from upsc domain telling you that 90% question came from our institute 80% came from our institute 100% came from our institute do not worry about that that is all nonsense in fact whatever you will study at misfits not more than 50% question will be asked from misfits my goal is not that my goal is to ensure that despite not knowing the answer are you still still able to sail through the examination that is the skill set that you need to master and that is the ability to make conjectures where you learn to make opinions based on incomplete information that is an important skill that you will learn throughout the journey so please keep on making conjectures when you are watching episodes or whenever you are attending live classes clear that's one thing that you need to do make conjectures this will be a distinguishing factor going forward number 2 calmness just imagine how incredible your life would be if you had no anxieties if you're calm all the time you'll perform better in your interviews much better in your mains at the end of the day you are tested for this how many times you meet officers who are anxious all the time rarely calmness tested across the journey perhaps such the reason why this is such a long drawn examination people who are patient calm composed they're able to sail through because that is the most important officer like quality how can you lead a country how can you lead a team if you yourself are anxious all the time to so please ensure that calmness there are people who get stressed that i can't find my zoom link emailing seven times the same thing getting anxious on random things no please remain calm and number 3 collaborate very important people here they are not your competitors people outside this room could be your competitors but here collaborate and believe me you all will sail through this examination do not compete with each other collaborate with each other the competition is from with the outside world and take it from me people outside of this room are filled with anxieties these are the idiots who are confused they will be anxious and they will lose the award not because they're not working hard they will lose the award because they're not mentally ready for the award they will have millions of strategies 
they would have watched millions of YouTube videos to crack this examination. And in that pursuit of anything extra, they will fail this examination. The answer always lies in working smart. And throughout your journey, we'll focus on that, on efficiencies. So, just to check, Archita, how much time do we have left? Another 30 minutes. Okay, so we'll take some questions. Mohit, what's your question? Hello, sir. So my question is, I missed the initial 10 minutes of this session. Could you please summarize those 10 minutes for me, sir, please? Uh, Arthur will send you the recording. Okay, sir. And sir, another question is, sir, I'm a defense aspirant. I cracked uh, FK 2023 and I have my SSB on 25 May 2024. And my family is saying you should appear for SSB and join Air Force. But I'm not sure about, sir, my results. I don't have the OLQ of, uh, you, you told about, no, sir, anxiety. Sir, my, the biggest, my biggest anxiety is, sir, how could, how to spoke, how to speak English, sir. I'm, my spoken is not very good. So I, I'm confused. Should I use Hindi? Would you, uh, permission milegi kya, sir, uske liye? To better connect with you all, sir. Okay. So one thing in Misfits. People are joining in from various regions and they may not be proficient with Hindi. They may not understand Hindi. So in the benefit of larger audience who are part of this community, let's stick with English. And also if you're appearing for this examination in English language, yes, sir. it will benefit immensely. Yes, sir. Are you appearing in English for this examination? Yes, sir. Yes. So you will have to have a working understanding of English. And that yes, will sir. happen only and only if you are practicing. There is no two yes. doubt about that. You will have to practice. And I will ensure that you practice in the journey. Of course, you will make mistakes. You all should make mistakes. And that's totally fine. Do not be ashamed of making mistakes. English, just a medium. And English was not always the language of elites. Once upon a time, it was Sanskrit. Pali, Prakrit, Persian, Turkish, they all became languages. Tomorrow we all could be speaking Greek, who knows? So please do not have this mindset that, you know, proficiency in English is equivalent to being an intel to intellect. That's not the case. There are many idiots who speak wonderful English. They may not have any officer like quality. So this don't let this to be, you know, in your mind that because you can't converse in English when any less. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So speak in, if you're writing this examination in English language, around the journey, along the journey, you will improve. Don't worry about that. But in the short term, um, I will also advise you to appear for SSP. for multiple reasons. Number one, I think it's a good way to learn a lot many things about you. Also, it's a long term process. You will be, you will have wonderful five days in wherever SSB center is situated. You'll get good food. You'll make good friends. And if for some reason you are shortlisted, then there is a merit list. There is medical. So many things will go on. If you do not know if your name will be eventually be there, even if you are shortlisted in this, in this stage. So appear for five days in case you are missing the classes in those days, rely on recordings, but I will advise you to go and attempt this. It will be a good learning experience and you can bring forth those learnings for whatever you are doing, um, at Misfits. Okay. And of course, what we have do where, what we've done is we have designed classes in such a, such a format that we try to make sure that your weekends are free all the time. Monday to Thursday, we study. And if for some reason you're not able to, you know, catch up or, or, or behind schedule for whatever reasons, could be many reasons. And you have the weekend to recover. So you will not have that anxiety. And we make those recordings available to you in around 24 hours once the class is done. Okay. And of course there are no penalties for making mistakes. 
In fact, I encourage you all to make mistakes. Good. Arnav, what's your question? Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are. Sir, uh, I have not yet received the link to join the community that you have told in the first part of the video that we will get update about the next classes and everything. So how can... What's the... What's the... Uh, it's actually sent on your first welcome email. Please do go through the mail again and you will see it as part of links to the social networks. I think it's under second heading. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. That is what I'm saying, you know, as of now, be calm, be composed, read through the emails properly. How is it possible that 40 others were able to get access to it? But thanks for sharing it. No worries. Uh, but in the journey, let's try our attempt to be diligent. You will have all the answers. The entire ecosystem exists for you to support you. Raul? Yes, for a newspaper, do we have to only editorial part or selectively from whole newspaper? Yeah, so you will get all these answers once you are done with at least five, six episodes of economics. Many a times what you will realize is that these newspapers are not newspapers. These are views papers. Okay. So without foundations, you can do and read whatever you want to read, but that will not be beneficial for you from UPSC examination. So watch through the recordings of economics and you will get all your answers. In fact, you will become master at how to go about reading newspapers. And of course you have to read through many things, not just editorials, but whatever you do, you do not have to exceed more than 45 minutes when you're reading through newspapers. 45 minutes are done, throw away the newspaper. That's it. Doesn't matter if you were able to complete it or not. In time to come, you will realize how important this is. Also in some of my classes in history and economics, I will also talk about something called McKinsey Insights. Don't be scared about it. McKinsey is a wonderful consulting firm, although very controversial, but many of their partners have worked on some very interesting projects across the globe. And they write some remarkable things where they talk about technology interlinks with XYZ stuff. As of now, I can understand your foundations could be weak, work on history, work on economics, work with me in geography. But after some time, start going through some of the McKinsey Insights articles. No rush, but I'm just telling you one additional resource, freely available. It's very relevant for your interviews and meets. Anil, what's your question? Uh, yeah, hi, sir. So my question is that, as uh, so Taj Ma'am uh, was discussing about uh, why do we want to join the civil services? You mentioned two point. Uh, uh, first one, she mentioned ki, uh, it may be to change the status of a family. Okay, so and the second one, uh, she discussed, she pointed uh, ki, uh, how, how can you have impact on the society, right? So uh, for me, both, both, both two points is considerable, right? And uh, uh, yeah, my question is that ki, how, how uh, what is the right answer for the second point, how can we make the impact on society? I mean, how can you get that? I see. Okay. So two points. The first thing is many people, and I can assure you, if you are not able to get amongst the highest scores in the UPC interview, forget about the IFS. You will have to settle with other allied services. And believe me, those are not great services. Although they work tremendously hard, do a lot of work, contribute to nation's growth, that's fine. But you did not start preparing for this examination to settle with those allied services. So interview is very, very important. Many people discount this. And you do not prepare for interview right after your meets. 
that preparation begins the day you start preparing for UPSC or the day when you are born. So in the next eight to nine months, I will talk a lot about these strategies, bits and pieces in almost all my classes. So adhere to those things and understand and realize the importance of interviews. Cracking prelims, that's fine, but you will not get medals for cracking prelims. Your rank, your services, your card, even your promotions in your later stage, they decided by how much you score in your mains and interviews. Okay, there are so many people who crack prelims every year. That's their job. Cleared six prelims, five prelims, then what? A question about impact. Personally speaking, I think there are so many ways through which you can raise the stature of your family. Civil services is not the only way to do that. Personally speaking, there are so many ways through which you can create impact. Civil services is not the only way to do that. Keita Kopinathan failed UPSC prelims, went on to head IMF. Ravi Shankar Prasad failed prelims in UPSC. He's a minister today in the cabinet. Many, many stories exist. My only request is if you are writing this examination, please do this with the right ethos in mind, which is lacking, sadly. And that's not your fault. I think that's because of the ecosystem that we live in. Many of us get attracted to the beauty of civil services via seeing those entry exit videos, looking at those cars, how much power that they have and all the nonsense. Please, if that is your attraction, you will not be happy in the services and you will be a disgrace to the country. Prepare for the examination with right ethos in mind. Third point I would want to add that many people in the interview, you know, I have many folks who appear for the interviews and take their mocks. When I ask them a question, why do you want to join the IAS? The usual answer is that we want to create large scale impact. Joining the IAS is one of the ways to do that. And I'm sure many of you will have the same answer. But what if I ask you the next question? What impact have you created so far in your 30 years of existence or 25 years of existence? Just name one. And many of those people were silent. So if you can't create impact in your first 25 years of existence in the life of, of at least even one person, then how can and how will and why will the interview board Trust you that civil services is a means for you to create impact. Just my only request has always been, you know, just let's do one good thing. If not every day, then at least once a month for people around us. That's it. And not big deal. One good thing per month. If even one month is difficult, then in six months, but please do one good thing that you think will make you proud of yourself. Forget about parents, but you should be proud of yourself first. Shatakshi is right that uh, many times you have to back your answers with facts and data, and we'll do all these things after you have cleared your prelims. At this stage, don't worry about it. But my request, please make yourself proud. And that will happen as long as you are happy with yourself and the deeds that you will do or might do. Create impact in the lives of one person first, and then we can scale that. Priyash, what's your question? Yeah, hi sir, can you hear me? Yes. My question was about, um... When you spoke about history, economics, and how you need to learn everything, why is being jack of all trades frowned upon and they tell you to become master of one or learn one subjects in more like depth? Who tells you that? Um, it's commonly uh, known or taught okay. that if you become a master in one, one subject, like um, something. Let me give you a few examples. In India, there's a service called Indian Economic Services, right? You all know this, Indian Economic Services. 
who is your boss who is the counter controlling authority rarely you find people at the post of additional secretary coming in economic services but many times they are our people who are jack of all trades the ias heading those departments ies office reporting to, to them reserve bank of india's governor history major an ias officer jack of all trades and doing wonderful job shaktikant das has done remarkable work in many in many cases look at the forex reserve of india today look at the way india navigated through the covid fiasco and when the globe and the world around us and has been crumbling india has indeed been the beacon of, beacon of hope that's one example in the world of public sector where jack of all trades are thriving look at any other thing i think jeff bezos gave an interview to david rubinstein about his time in princeton and how one of his roommate i think was an incredible mathematician or something or physicist look what jeff bezos is doing today versus that physicist is doing today jeff bezos was combining the world of finance business physics whereas the other person was engrossed in one activity but that does not mean that i'm dissing those people if you love that thing remarkable but don't do that you know don't confine yourself to that hollow sphere for the rest of your life you're in your 20s some of you would be in your early 30s many of you will not know what you're good at it will take time and if you find out what you're good at you want to specialize in that thing go ahead do it no one's stopping you but at this stage we talk of all trades what's the harm even in mckinsey bcg when you are hired for the initial positions you have to work across sectors health tech one day ports shipping other day so on so forth but once you're in your 40s or 45 50s you made partner of one specific segment and you're focusing on one niche today a prime minister seems to be jack of all trades right from mathematics to history to economics people working under him scientific advisor so on so forth specialists leaders are always jack of all trades that is their trait and that is why they are leaders and that is why ias perhaps the most important post rishikesh uh good evening sir yeah uh, sir uh, i have to appear in 2026 and i am a college going student so what should be my way of watching the recordings okay first and foremost you should thank your stars that you have so much time left 2026 and i sincerely want to say this the attempt in 2024 or 25 or 26 or whenever that is it has to be your only attempt you don't have to make this a five year plan many people will tell you that this clearing this examination not possible in one attempt no that's nonsense clear this in one attempt otherwise you'll be stuck in this loop of appearing reappearing for this examination joining new classes every year don't make that mistake so you are in a very lucky stage that you have a lot of time ready but with a lot of time also comes in a lot of confusion so my advice would be stick with misfits stick with misfits resources and whatever i'm telling you on in those episodes or in future classes just trust me in this process it has worked very well for many in terms of your strategy consistency should be important watch one episode per day i would rather advise you to start with i think both are important alternate with between history and economics depending on what whatever you are liking so you have all the flexibility but was complete one episode per day take detailed notes send us those 
revisionary notes also you're learning so on and so forth in that email drill towards the top additionally keep on attending live classes even when you have the time but do not worry about writing answer writing and all that crap even those are pending 2024 don't worry about answer writing at this stage your goal should be to learn how to build answers to for uh, first hand if you do not know how to build answers what will you write many people waste time writing answers right don't do that mistake learn to build answers focus on foundations and after your prelims are done you'll create answer writing groups and to be honest when you're answer writing your answer writing practice starts genuinely after your prelims where in under 3 hours you have to finish 20 questions of course you will mess it up you will use a wrong pen pen you will not draw structures so on and so forth but the learnings will happen at that stage of course in all the classes you will have those hypothetical questions main questions being discussed so you will all learn that skill but core writing practice will start after your prelims and it's in your own benefit that's how you save time and that's how you work efficiently don't worry what others are doing ritu your your question uh hi naman yeah so my uh, question is uh, like op without optional uh, like this exam would be messed up so how do you um, suggest to go for the optional one okay good question see my optional was political science and international relations so my answer will be keeping that lens in mind all science and ir and other subjects also you know pol science geography public administration similar subjects i can't say a lot many things about physics or mathematics or electrical engineering i think in a way sociology also i would put in that bucket of pol science and other subjects so as per my understanding especially for pol science if you were to look at past 10 years question paper you will realize couple of trends the first trend is that upsc is repeating questions especially in paper 1 of those optionals they may change tiny bit of language but they are repeating questions so you have to do all those 10 years papers diligently have ready made answers for those papers and if you look at paper 2 people are scoring good marks are those who are linking and interlinking various facets with the theories that they learn for paper 1 paper 2 especially for pol science is very dynamic people have that confusion but you have to link those dynamics with the statics and that's how you win the game so optional this is my advice analyze the examination that has happened already those are the questions set by upsc and whenever they are setting the new paper they go back to those papers the prior ones to craft the new ones in terms of strategy at misfits we are not doing optional but the good thing about pol science and other sub subjects is that there is a huge overlap with the gs syllabus especially with pol science is a huge overlap so a lot of your work will already be done and then you have to rely on few materials available in the market as of now we are not teaching optional even when that happens we'll let you know but uh, at this stage if you are going to appear in 2024 although it may be a controversial advice but uh, focus a lot more on gs at this stage complete your optional to an extent but if you can pick that optional after your prelims is done you can cover it up in 3 months so just know from where to study what to study and what are some basic terms and concepts but real reading especially for pol science and pub art will happen after your 
prelims. But that does not mean that you do not pick it up. Just understand what's your optional is, where are the notes, what are the concepts that I have to study, and from where will I study. Also, do remind me, you know, five minutes before the next call, and we can proceed accordingly. If you're unsure, what's your question? Hello, good evening, sir. So this is going to be my third attempt. Earlier, I have uh, talked to you, I messaged you on Twitter and YouTube channels, and I have been following you since uh, from the past couple of months from this year's prelims itself. So uh, my problem is that uh, that I was I was stuck in a uh, in that situation that uh, that there are some types of redundant questions or data relevant questions which has been coming into this uh, ES paper and many coaching institutes are claiming that those questions are from those institutes. But many of my friends, I, actually I was preparing along with my college peers. So uh, some of my friends have uh, given this uh, clear this prelims examination I, and I was not able to clear it. Just for two to three questions, I was short behind. So um, my friend has given the mains examination, and I want and I thought that I want to change the strategies, as you have earlier mentioned uh, in this um, today's uh, session itself. So I want to uh, know from you that what kind of uh, strategies or uh, approach should I have to make while uh, appearing 2024 prelims? Because this year prelims, you have uh, already seen that there are questions. Uh, there, uh, there are questions which requires uh, you will have to be thorough enough for all the statements. Then you will be able to solve uh, that those questions uh, means uh, options which is uh, only one pair, only two pair, only three pair. Uh, there are lots of questions coming this paper like this type. So how do how can for a candidate like me uh, can be able to crack that during those situations? Those situations from where um, I could not know or I have zero idea about that question. Okay. Good question. I have to make a little announcement before I forget this. So it's around timings of the classes, the live classes. What's the timing, Archita? So it is from Monday to Thursday, from 5 p.m. IST to 7 p.m. IST currently. Okay. So uh, of course, tomorrow is no class. But usually the trend is Monday to Thursday, we have classes. 5 p.m. IST to 7 p.m. IST. But in winters, we change that because of many reasons. Festivities, days are shorter, and you should also have a good mental health. For that, you need to play cricket, badminton, go to gym, walks, spend time with family. So what we'll do is, in the month of October or until October, timings will be 5 p.m. to 7, 7 p.m., the way it is. From November onwards, this will change. We'll do this in the afternoon. It'll be 2.30 p.m. IST to 4.30 p.m. IST. And there have been innumerable requests to change this, so we are doing this. Also, November is going to be a little relaxed period for you. We don't want you to suffer from miss out on family activities that are also important. So many people who do not go to home during Diwali or Eid or Dashara, take care of the people who love you, your parents, your siblings. Spend time with them. Mental well-being, nothing, nothing is more important than that. Okay. Monday, Thursday, we meet. Timings I've already stated. And uh, November month will be a little relaxed. Rely a lot on your recordings. It's cautiously done so that you are seeping into the ecosystem, learning new methods. It takes time. But whatever the situation is, you have to complete one video from history, one video from economics, and 45 minutes of newspaper reading plus live classes every day. Diwali time, we agree that uh, it's not much easier for you to be working hard. So we may not have those live classes. You can rely on recordings. And we'll come back again in the month of December or later in November after Diwali is over with a new determination to crack this examination. Now, regarding the last, the previous question.
my only answer would be please do not waste your time analyzing what upsc asked this year how they changed the pattern we have to be fundamentally very strong there is a high likelihood that upsc next year may not ask a single question from medieval history but should that be your excuse to leave that it's just one examination that you prepare so much for and therefore we will not be leaving anything we'll complete everything we can't take that risk such an important investment in everything that you're doing right in terms of how to solve that questions those questions what are the methods and means Just please be patient i've done that in various recordings watch it you will get your own answers okay i will come i will keep on doing this in all the live classes because i can't give you a five minute answer on how to go about solving it i have to give you step by step explanations and that takes time and you also need to practice so we will do that please be patient calm relaxed and that relaxation that calmness should be your strength this year okay good i am so sorry i cannot take all the questions now we have another networking event scheduled which you will be joining in from next month onwards and um, up until then relax welcome to the community you are all going to have a wonderful time and we are all here to assist you our responses could be slow but we will respond within 24 hours so please don't lose the patience and uh, of course we'll all grow in this journey and it is my duty my responsibility to make you fall in love with subjects if that does not happen i'm feeling myself and i can't let that happen you will all have access to recordings in some time so relax form your own schedule how you would do it why would you do it and then let's start our journey every day you have to do cert certain things non negotiable watch one history video one economics video read newspaper send us your learnings and then monday to thursday attend live classes all the best stay patient don't be anxious good luck